Welcome back to Bay Area Focus. We go from one Renaissance man to another. He is a venture capitalist, an entrepreneur, an author, and startup guru. He is Vitaly M. Gollum, and he is sitting down with us right now. Thanks so much for coming on the show. Thanks for having me, Michelle. All right, so you have a book. It's called Accelerated Startup. I'm going to show the camera here right here. Tell me about this book. So I've been involved with startups since the age of 13. My family immigrated when I was eight, and I grew up in Bay Area and uh, learned a lot with my own companies. Um, been mentoring around the world, traveled to 20, 30 countries a year. And everything I've learned, everything I've taught uh, to different entrepreneurs, thousands of entrepreneurs, the same questions all over the world. So it's all now in a book, uh, how to go from idea to product to building a company. That's tough, isn't it? It's what's tough. The, what's the hardest step? The hardest step, uh, at first, it's about coming up with something that's scalable. Um, startups are kind of a different, different flavor of small business. Um, you know, people think that all new businesses are startups, but they're really not. Startups are really meant to be kind of an experiment that then scales to something really big and changes the way people or companies or whole industries do something particular. So what advice do you give to would-be entrepreneurs? Uh, a couple of things. I mean, first of all, you know, when I meet very young entrepreneurs and, and startups are kind of the new, the new garage bands, right? Everybody wants to create a startup. And it's very, it's very hot, again. Um, but uh, the excitement has to be somewhat tempered. And I, my usual advice is the first startup that you're a part of shouldn't really be your own. You need to go and learn uh, from a fast-growing company and really take that experience into how to build something like this and then apply it to something that you know in depth and you're kind of one of the smartest people in the, in the world in a particular area. And so what um, five lessons would people get out of this, this book? You talk about five lessons, right, that every sure. entrepreneur should know. Uh, I, I think there's probably more than five. There's 40 plus chapters. It, it ended up being kind of a, a little bit of a Bible. Uh, but there's a number of things. So, um, you know, very important to kind of be objective. And it's a very difficult thing to create a startup because you're going, by definition, you're going into uncharted territory. And that means that you're going to have, uh, you need thick skin because you're going to hear a lot more no's than yeses, especially at first. Um, you're, you're trying to actually solve a problem in a new, new way. And um, you're going to be failing a little bit, right? Because just it, it's more, it's closer to a science experiment than building a traditional business. Uh, so if you're not failing, that means you're not kind of pushing the envelope, um, you know, far enough out there. And also, you know, don't gamble with uh, money you can't afford to lose. Um, the first round of financing, you know, the money that people usually use for startups, is, is we call kind of friends, family, and fools, the FFF round. Um, and that money, you know, usually, statistically, will, will be gone. Uh, so they need to make sure that, you know, if they're hitting up their friends and family for money, they, they understand that everybody understands that it's highly, highly risky. That their brother will still talk to them again, yeah. even if they yeah. lose all their money. Exactly. Uh, how do you get from that point? I mean, every, all of us have had ideas at some point of what we can do to be our own boss. But how do you get from that point to the actual launch yeah. of something? Um, well, it, it, there's a lot of different things, right? And I think we can talk about it for an hour or, or more sure. about that. But uh, the main thing is that uh, people need to understand that whatever they're planning to work on, they need to be extremely passionate and knowledgeable about it because they're going to be talking about it and pitching it for years on end. It takes about a year to go from an idea to some kind of first product. It takes about another year to figure out if anybody cares, any customer cares that you built something. And it takes about five to eight years to go through the whole process so you're really investing your non-refundable lifetime into something, and you need to be really passionate because you need to motivate and inspire your team. You need to get people on board, and you're going to have a lot of bad days. You need to be able to get up in the morning and go and be kind of number one cheerleader. So they need to believe in it just as much as you do, right? Well, they need to believe in it like it's, you know, it's, it's the truth. They need to be irrationally you know, passionate about whatever they're going to be working on. So what do you look for when you decide to mentor or consult with startups? Um, well, you know, in my role as an investor, that, that goes with the territory of kind of playing a little bit coach. And uh, it's very important to, first of all, see if, you know, especially if it's a really young company that is pre-product, pre-revenue, they just have kind of an idea and a good team and they're starting to build something, they need to be coachable. They need to, you know, if they want to coach, they need to kind of take the advice. And they don't need to, you know, they need, they need to make decisions on their own ultimately about their company, but they need to be open, right? So. Um, that's, that's an important factor. And also somebody that's really um, has a lot of tenacity and will go through these brick walls and will make sure that you know, the hardships, they don't, they, don't, they don't get bogged down, that they actually 
get through the process and push through because again it's very very difficult most companies most startups fail miserably mm -hmm. um, as experiments and the ones that prevail are people that are you know they get up day in day out and they're able to push through their old difficulties and it's no surprise that you talk about Silicon Valley uh, in your book obviously yeah, sure. with so many businesses and and companies and startups um, tell me more about that and why it's so important for people to set up this personal network from other countries you say yeah well so Silicon Valley is kind of the epicenter of technology startups um, simply because we've been at it since the 50s here with you know Stanford coming out and there's a great history and I covered that in the book and I actually opened with it it's important to understand that history and we have six or seven generations of entrepreneurs technology entrepreneurs that have gone through it and what we really have here that's kind of uh, something you can't replicate around the world is that experience and when the company is scaling really quickly we have about 50,000 director level managers that have been experienced in building companies that can fill in the blanks and they can help these companies grow really quickly um, but these clusters of innovation uh, we call them kind of the, the academic term um, is is about kind of the different pieces that you have of the puzzle uh, to build a new innovation cluster anywhere in the world and the area you know we've been focused on software for the last two decades so much that a lot of the hardware mechanical electrical talent electrical engineering etc um, is no longer here so it's a big advantage to uh, some other parts of the world where these students are still you know, being created, right? Mechanical engineers, electrical engineers, sure. et cetera. Um, and the next wave, we're kind of at the tail end of the mobile era. There are two million apps in the app store. It's very difficult to build something and find great success and get through the noise. So the next era is augmented reality, it's artificial intelligence, it's a lot of hardware devices, things that Bay Area is not necessarily the best in the world at, a lot of these skill sets. So it's a big advantage to the rest of the world. All right. Well, thank you so much for coming on the show and thank telling us much. all you know. Not all you know, but <laughs> because you know a lot. Uh, to find out more about Vitaly and his book, Accelerated Startup, just log on to acceleratedstartup.me. And after the break, we are taking a look back in history with the Presidio. We'll be right back.